Given where this movie started, it's kind a miracle it's as watchable as it is. That it even approaches watchability is nothing short of a cinematic miracle. As far as the ignominious history of video game adaptations goes, Sonic is far from the worst, but it never does anything to justify its existence as a live-action feature film. Sonic the Hedgehog references Olive Garden. <laughs> Twice. It's too inoffensive to be hated and too wretched to be enjoyable. Kyrie's performance as Norma Desmond levels of hideous, only without Gloria Swanson's self-awareness that this is supposed to be embarrassing. <sighs> Sonic the Hedgehog is a failure of the imagination so catastrophic, so unfathomably antipathetic to the very idea of itself, that sitting down to write this review felt like sawing a hole in my own skull! Seeing Jim Carrey back in action made me realize that I didn't really miss him. Basically, Sonic the Hedgehog is a distilled encapsulation of all the useless, banal grotesqueries inherent to our collective capitalist nightmare in a fuzzy blue ball. Eat it up, kiddos. <sighs> Sonic the Hedgehog will encourage one to turn on one of the games and repeatedly make him jump under spikes to his death as revenge. <laughs> Instead of running rings around its genre predecessors, this origin story peters out well before reaching any <laughs> bonus <laughs> levels of <laughs> video game reference. <laughs> I'm clever. <laughs> because Sonic the Hedgehog is a video game. <laughs> The thought of spending more time with Sonic or his arch nemesis makes me want to roll into a ball and fly off a cliff at several hundred miles per hour. It's playful, it's fun, and it feels like what a Sonic the Hedgehog movie should be!